Because I can recognize myself a lot in this role, uh, um, and and also, the, the, I think the interest it's interesting to work with with a character and a role that that has. Uh, if you watch Hollywood movies, there's always the, the the villain is always all bad, bad, and and the good guys are all good, good. Uh, it's very black and white, and we as humans are not like that. So I think it's interesting to work with with a character who has both things inside of him, and he has this fight inside of him with the evil and, and, and the good all, all the time, and that's, that's appealed a lot to me in, in this character. Carl is a, a, a lone wolf. Um, he has a bad time with the Danish uh, soldiers. Obviously, he doesn't like his, uh, his fellow uh, countrymen in the army, um, and, and also he hates the Germans. So he gets this assignment uh, on, on the beach and then they send up some boys and he gets really disappointed when he sees his boys because he, he's kind of like his revenge. Now the Germans occupied his country for five years and now they're leaving the country and now it's, it's, it's payback time. And when he sees these boys, he's kind of like, he's a little bit disappointed. Um, but the, as the movie develops, he gets to know, he gets to learn his enemy and he finds out that there are humans just like him with dreams and ambitions and, and all the same thing as him. And that's, that's what, the, what it's really about. If you fight monsters, you must be aware that you don't become a monster yourself. I think that Nietzsche said, if you glance into the abyss, the abyss also glance into you. And I think that's the, that's the biggest challenge for, for, for Carl in this movie. I wasn't familiar with, 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 with the story. They, they, they don't teach us in school. Uh, it's not in our history books uh, in the schools, but, but it's written in, a, in some documents that they found in a museum, and, and one book is written about it. And, and they are really discussing um, how, how, how uh, uh, truth the, the, the papers are and how many died and all that stuff. Uh, but, but the fact is that the, the, the German cleaned the beaches, and, and there was a discussion about if they, if they, were, uh, if they were war of prisoners or if they were there by their own will. And, and, and what, what I figure out is that the, the Danish government wanted to, to be there at their own will because if you're a war of prisoner, then you have a certain kind of rights and you need to have food and, and you can only work for eight hours a day and, and stuff like that. So I think the Danish government, they, they, they made it look like they were there of their own will. Um, and that's a dark chapter in, in the Danish history. And I think that we we didn't we really don't want to talk about it because we, we, we didn't treat the Germans well at all. Actually, we, we were worse to the Germans than the Germans were to the Danish population afterwards, to war. And, and that's also the interesting thing about this movie, what, what, what sometimes what uh, revenge can make you blind and, and forget who you are and where you come from and what, what you've been fighting. If you think you're fighting a monster, be, be aware you don't become one yourself. Well, it was hard work, um, and we all we work with the four elements that they teach you in school not to do when you make movies, like children, water, animals, and sand. And we had all four of them, and and and, and uh, I, I like a good challenge, uh, and it wasn't easy. And when I came home um, uh, after shooting the day, I needed to prepare myself for the role next day. So I, I almost stayed in in the character for eight weeks, and that was pretty hard. But I like a good challenge, and I think it brings out the best in me. The, the more they challenge me, the, the, more, uh, the more I deliver things. So I, I'm not good at if they pat me on the head and say, yeah, you're, you're good, Roland. I, I, I like a good challenge. And, and, I, and also I heard that um, there was somebody, they gave Martin a really big compliment because somebody said to Martin that he did with sand what Spielberg did with water when he made Jaws. So I think that all the German tourists, when they come to uh, Westerhout in Jutland now, they, they're all going to watch out not to step on some mines because there's still some mines left over there. I love the crazy Dane. Um, um, he's, he's, him and I are, are a lot like each other. And, and, and he, everybody says that when you go on set, you will have big arguments with the director and stuff like this. But we never had a big argument because we, we really understood each other. Sometimes I didn't need to say anything to him. I just looked at him and he knew what was wrong because there was a lot of people around us all the time. And, 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 I, and I was 
I was, I was um, sometimes I got a little scared because there was a lot of pressure on me because I wasn't the obvious choice for this role. And I know that uh, some of the investors pulled out the money when they heard that I was, that Martin kept saying he wanted me because of course they, 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 they said that the five best actors in Denmark um, should have the chance for the role. But Martin, he, 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 he kept saying that he wanted me. And, and I think that it takes some big balls. And I admire people who, who, who go against the flow. Did you watch it if they're interested in history? Uh, that's definitely a part of it, and also if if the if they're interested in in in, in how humans they react in in uh, in high intense situations, uh, the, 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 there's a lot to learn from this movie, uh, and mostly to learn about yourself and how you deal with your fears and your enemies and 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 the the the, the picture you have of your enemies, you know, because when you get to know your enemies. You found out that they have the same ambitions and dreams as you, and then it's hard to hate them. I love to work with the boys. They're, 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 they're well, boys are boys. So they were fooling around and they couldn't sit still. And, and, and we had some, we, we had, uh, we had some conflicts and, and, uh, and I, I was screaming at them a couple of times because I was nervous, but after which I called them all together and I said, listen, boys, I'm sorry that, that I, I lost my temper, but <clears throat> I really want to do this right. And you got to understand you're not on a vacation here, boys. And, and, and I need you in, in this picture, you know, this, this is my, my big shot um, and my first uh, uh, leading role. So, so I need you, boys. And they understood that and, and, and they were really nice to me all the way. And, and also I explained to them that nobody is better than the worst person in, in the picture, you know. But this is a, a team, we got to lift this together. And they understood that. And I think they, they, they did a really, really professional job. And they're really, well, you can see it yourself when you watch the movie, the boys are really good. And everywhere I come and talk about the movie, everybody mentioned the boys. Um, so great respect to the boys. And, and I'm looking forward to see them tonight. I miss them a lot, actually.